So uh, we were actually scheduled to bubble no March, but then naging MECQ. So mm. it got delayed and delayed and delayed. And delayed. Mm. Now I'm here. <laughs> so yun nga, that was the main factor why I came back. Kasi I was told that we were going to start bubble soon. Oh, okay. So I'm going to finish my last term in DLSU. So, oh, okay. Yeah. So uh, what's your degree naman in DLSU? Uh, yeah, since you said you have one term left. Business management. Ah, okay, okay. Same pa na tayo, yeah. So. Because, yun nga, I was planning to play for season 83 when mm-hmm. after the first cancellation, I was planning to extend. But then, um, I was already so delayed. So I was like, I have to finish my <laughs> my degree. So, yun. I was actually supposed to play last year, October. But then, yun nga, I was I was planning on playing season 83 but then it got canceled also so ayun I I decided to just finish my my degree so that I can play professionally. Ah okay. So how many years have you been studying in Lasal but that's why you decided to finally finish it already because sometimes it's kind of hard if you've been there not tagal-tagal na tas sa college ka pa rin. Yeah, 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 I saw like I think wake up call for me was when I saw my high school friends again and then like they have careers and uh. I just felt so behind. I was just, okay. I I have to I have to get my my stuff uh, uh, and my professional career soon. And yeah, I think that was my main wake wake up call. And also, I think I was holding on to playing for a last season. But then when they had the second cancellation, I was like, okay, this is a sign that I I really have to I have to finish. So as a professional, naman, do you intend to play until like? Uh, kaya pa until like 30 plus or something or do you just have the plan like from are five years long seven years ano ba yung mga future plans mo in regards to that as of now mm-hmm. yeah as of now yeah now, um i actually when i because i went back to canada so mm-hmm. i looked for my options there also for my professional career um i saw na kasi sa canada maganda yung it's like government jobs are really mm-hmm. nice Has has a lot of benefits. So, nakita ko yung opportunity to be um a patrol a uh, border patrol border officer. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm actually planning to stay as of now. Nothing's like concrete. Yeah. So now I'm planning to stay only until the end of the year. Oh okay. Um, yeah. From there we'll see. Kung if I want to play more or if I'm gonna pursue that border patrol position which needs a lot quite some time to say there's also like in training pa for the, the job and like some um education in the justice system and yeah a, a lot of processes so i have to start as early as i can was that like your dream before or parang the latter part of your life pa lang na like in interest dun sa pagiging border patrol Well, my dream before actually was to be a, a physiotherapist oh, before okay. I recruited to the LSU. But then I found out wala sila nung course na yeah. for me. So I said, okay, I'll take business management because it's the most like all-encompassing course yeah. that we're from one country to the other, right? Mm-hmm. So um, I think for me, really, my dream job, whatever it may be, is to be able to help people. In a way, to to be of service, like, um, if if my my dream of being uh, a border patrol won't come into fruition, I I I would like to be a a coach or uh, or like um a PE teacher in high school because mm-hmm. I feel like the best way to help the next generation is to teach the next generation. Yeah. So. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that's great. Like in volleyball, a lot of like the veterans and the people that are like successful at the sport, they also do like mga clinics. Like even now, kahit online, I see the mga ibang players that they do it, and it seems interesting, talaga. And a lot of the kids and the teenagers, they really want to learn from their idols. Eh? So that's really great that you want to be a coach someday. <laughs> yeah. 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 So yung, you mentioned in the start that badami ang free time for you um during this whole quarantine it's like been so long na talaga. Uh, so ano yung mga meron ka bang mga activities na hindi mo akalain that you'd be doing na you got interested in during this whole period? I didn't know that I would reach the bottom of the net the Netflix list. 
what have you like been watching? <laughs> uh, currently, I'm watching Shadow and Bone because I've heard a lot of good things about it. And uh, last na series na tapos ko was this Korean. I I actually you mentioned uh, not be uh, what was something that you wouldn't thought you would be doing. Yeah. I'm not a fan of Korean novella. Yeah. Me also, actually. <laughs> I recommended um, Reply 1988. And it was really good. It was worth it. Even if it was so sa episode, it was nice. Ah, okay, okay. I haven't I, watched it. <laughs> right, it's a nice story. It's not like the typical love story. Na, I don't know. But it's, yeah. it's like a neighborhood. But yeah, yun. And also, I I I went back to my uh, creative side because I love painting and drawing. Oh, okay, okay. In quarantine, I finished a commission for my sister <laughs> during my same Philippines uh, in Canada, and then I finished a painting for my friend uh, Gaia Baroba for her birthday. So yeah. 